All right, hey everybody, it's uh, it's 99. I'm finally back again. Uh, it's been a while. I've been doing a lot of other projects for people, uh, doing some video work, some audio work. Uh, went to NAM. That was a lot of fun. Um, but I'm back. I've got a new setup, and uh, I'm just going to run through a quick little tip for uh, Beatmaker 2. So uh, let's go ahead and launch Beatmaker 2. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load a new project, load my drum machine, and this time I'm going to hit the empty preset button down here at the bottom as opposed to hitting the orange X up at the top. They now have a new feature down here. It's an empty preset. I'm going to go ahead and choose my drum machine. Okay, now we're here at the preset page, and you can see that on the left-hand side. It's this panel to the left of the pads. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to uh, chop a sample for purposes of exporting individual files created by the chops. So let's go ahead and load the chop lab. I'm going to go ahead and open sample because I already have my sample loaded into Beatmaker 2. Uh, it is in my content, sample libraries, my fat loud folder. Uh, high Heel Vocals Volume 1. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And I'm going to select Autoplay and Disk Streaming so that the file starts automatically when I tap it. And it also saves on memory when you load it. So let's go ahead and choose this one right here. Oh, oh. That'll work for this purpose. Hit Load. All right, it's loaded. So now what you have here is the waveform. And uh, there's no, there's only one, I guess you could call it one, one chop, one slice. So what I'm gonna do here is drag the playhead from over here, the beginning of the sample, the beginning of the slice, and adjust it to the beginning of this sample. So that's my first chop. And uh, if you wanna add another one, all you have to do is tap the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap here. I'm going to slide it over to the beginning of this one and now I have two chops and what you can do to select between the different chops is uh, tap this left arrow over here to move left and you can tap it again to move right you can select between your chops like that and if you want to play the slice you hit this uh, playhead up here next to the undo button oh. now if I want to go back to the other one and hear it oh. And there you go. And now we're going to go ahead and save this out. And what you do, or to do that, you hit the orange X up at the top. That's going to take you to your save dialog. And what you want to do is hit save. Uh, I'm going to keep the current format. And what I'm going to do is create samples from slices. I'm going to select that one right here. And what that's going to allow me to do is um, save out different files for each uh, for each sample or for each slice so I'm going to uh, tap create preset let's go to I have a folder already created in here called chop samples and I'm just going to hit save with samples and it's going to create it should create a new folder right here yep it's going to create a new folder it's going to name it already what the name of the the file that I chose was I'm going to go ahead and do that I'll hit return to do that Okay, now it's going to load. All right, so now if you want to go ahead, actually you can see them here on your, your pads. Oh, oh. Okay, so now if you want to export those, you just go up to the top, you hit the home button, and go ahead and tap the icon that looks like a iMac with an iPhone next to it, and that is your sharing button. I'm going to go ahead and just use uh, Dropbox to show you how to do it. Open up Dropbox. And now on the left hand side, you can see everything that's on your, your Beatmaker 2 uh, folder structure. On the right hand side is your Dropbox. So let's go ahead and choose the Chop Samples folder. I'm going to go into the, uh, the bottom one here. And 
there's the other folder there, and there's the two files. So what you want to do is just highlight one. Um, let's see, I'm going to move it to this chopped samples folder and my Dropbox. And I've already done it before, so here's an, I'm going to move this other one by clicking the arrow to go to the right, which means it's going to move from my um, iPad to the Dropbox. So hit that. It's going to transfer it. And then I'll select the next one, do the same thing. It's going to transfer it. And there you go. Now they're both in your Dropbox. So whenever you go to your Dropbox, they'll be there for you to use in whatever uh, audio application you want to use. And then I'm just going to go ahead and X out. And uh, that's the lesson for the day. So go ahead and uh, like, rate, subscribe. Um, I'll be back with more uh, quick tips here shortly. Peace.